Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are back again, trying to carry on with our streak. We're on a two streak so far. Not too bad, not too bad. I do apologise if there's a slight bit of background noise in this episode. I have a fan on behind me. Because it's currently around 30 degrees, which for the UK is not normal at all. So it is very, very hot compared to normal. Anyways, let's jump in and randomise our character see who we might get on this day of days see who we might get and this time it's regular eve okay 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 um interesting interesting i think we did um we did tin uh was it other eve that we just did it might be uh either way let's uh let's jump in as eve here and we are going regular eve to was it mega satan again no it was uh blue baby okay that's not too bad um, do you know what? I'll I'll risk it. I'll take the 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 big damage up for the uh, for the the riskier start. It's it's always a, a risk on the first floor just due to the fact that champions exist. Um, but otherwise, not terrible. Uh, oh, Lodestone is great to start here. Very very nice. That's a lot of troll bombs, game. That's a lot of troll bombs. So essentially, as this character, there's a few things that we kind of need desperately. Um, one of those is just one single soul heart. One single soul heart, um, increases our effectiveness by a lot. Okay, this is good. We've managed to get them out of there. This room is probably, um, one of the worst rooms to be at low HP on. Because you've got to get in there with the pots and get around the enemies. And I find that pretty heckin' difficult a lot of the time. But, we did it. But yes, a single bomb, a single tinted rock would, uh... Help this run a lot. Lodestone is going to be super, super useful throughout this. If we could hit a single Lodestone shot, though, that would help. Um, lots of pennies so far. Soul Heart in the shop, unfortunately not. But a very cheap, um, a very cheap mum's key is uh, is definitely something that I'm willing to take a little look at. So I'm actually really glad that I um, that I took took a bit of health there during this room because this room's likely i won't say super likely but kind of likely that i'd get hit um and here as well like i'd love to keep our damage but honestly i really do think that this guy can easily hit me um and on top of the fact that he can easily hit me i believe he has the opportunity to do a full heart of damage so at least for now i don't think it'd be a very good idea for us to uh, us to use our razor blade at least until we get get into a bit lower HP. I think once we get him on the lower scale of HP, then maybe. Also, another good thing about Eve is deal with the devils are definitely more on the table than they would be with most other characters, or at least I feel so. Just because if we get health here, um, and even if we don't, we're going to be wanting to trade away HP so that we don't have to rely on the razor blade. Um, so that'd be really really nice getting getting a deal with the devil. Uh, being able to pick up something nice. Satanic Bible would be awesome. Uh, any sort of damage, of course, is always good. Um, it's, a, it's a little risky of a strategy because obviously you do lose out on HP and you kind of lock yourself into that style of play. But this right here is what makes it viable. The fact that we just got given some HP there makes it a lot more viable, in my opinion. Anyways, let's carry on. Uh, I am gonna I'm going to do this here and uh, do this room normally. And then we'll go into our cash room with the remaining HP that we've got. Just don't get hit. Always with the don't get hit. Right, uh... I mean, here, a key there's rather nice, not super useful. Ooh, this is a room that I do not like the look of at all. This is a room that I very much can feel myself getting hit on. Very glad to say that I didn't. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we're going to go... Quickly back here, one great thing about Horror Babylon is that massive speed boost. It allows us to backtrack far easier. So, unfortunately, no tinted rocks, no bombs for us. Um, especially annoying considering it means we can't get Mum's key. I would have loved to have grabbed that. So, let's go and check our cash room because we're essentially just going to be trading the HP that we just picked up for it. And see if we can get something nice in here. Hopefully an item or even just a soul heart. Unfortunately not. Um... Should have been a little more decis decisive about that. Oh, hello. That that was uh, good because now we can get Mum's key. <laughs> Everything worked out, you see? Everything worked out. Sometimes you just get lucky like that with the poops. Very nice when it happens. But anyways, let's jump on into our, um, our shop here. Grab that. 
Gives us two keys on pickup as well, which I, I think is just insanely valuable for us right now. Um, two keys on pickup is, is uh, going to mean that we have enough to do whatever we want on this floor, including this, which I'll go ahead and do straight away. Unfortunately, pretty, pretty bad there. We really don't want that at all. Uh, and we do now have to be careful on this floor. We're probably going to see some champions here and there. And we are currently one hit away from death. Again, though, I'd rather not pick up red hearts if we if we um, don't have to. But I think for now, it's safe. We should. And also, it just means that we can like go into cash rooms, things like that. Do you know what? This game fucking loves me sometimes. Uh, so first of all, let's um, let's do that. And then let's pop this. We might even want to use the razor blade again here. Uh, but yeah, so that was, do you know how I said like a satanic Bible would be great? The game was like, cool, yeah. Yeah, 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 wh whatever you want, dude, whatever you want. <laughs> I've got one of those coming right up there, sunshine. Don't worry about it. So yeah, satanic Bible, um, obviously a risky item because it makes everything into deal with the devils. But one very beautiful thing about this is now we can go angel deal and still take devil deals which is pretty awesome. So we can trade away all of our red health, but actually not lose our ability to go for angel deals, which is super valuable. Um, unfortunately, I should have uh, gone to that cash room prior to using our black heart, uh, using our satanic Bible, to be honest. But we got extra charges out of it, so I'm not going to complain too much. It's not like it was valueless. I actually think that this run has uh, has a very, very, very strong chance of success now. Uh, I'll definitely go and find our secret room because I'm fairly sure I know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, actually, no. I'm not sure now. I was pretty sure it was here, but I've just realized that that's a small room there. Um, It could be here, to be fair. Let's try it out. Unfortunately not. Okay, I'm, I'm not actually sure now. Because we, it can't be attached to thin rooms. Thin rooms really mess up, um, really, really mess up the inner workings of, uh, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be able to do something here. They really mess up the inner workings of secret rooms. I might be able to do something here. One second. Um, if I go back over here and grab this and come back, might not work. I am willing to test it out. Um, I've just, I've just got to be careful with it. So now we use the rainbow poop. That heals us up. And then we use this. That did indeed work. Good. There we go. We got a soul heart as well. And then we go boom. And we use the iframes to get out. Yeah, that worked out great. Good, good. Honestly, now as well, I'm going to use it again and just completely get rid of all of our red health. Because we're one room off of another black heart anyways. But this this puts us in a very good spot. Uh, I'm very, very happy that we can take devil deals and angel deals here. And honestly, even if the item's bad, I'm pretty willing to just take whatever it gives us on our on our uh, boss room here. Just because of the fact that um, we're going to be wanting to remove the red health anyways. Because there's going to be times where we accidentally pick up red hearts and it's going to ruin Horror Babylon. And we really want to keep Horror Babylon in play here because it's it's just it's insanely good. Um, so we, did, we unfortunately didn't find our secret room at all. I'm not super fussed to be honest. This is a room I can feel myself getting hit in a few times. But we've got plenty of HP here, so it shouldn't matter. But unfortunately, this is the baby plum fight. That's really really tight quarters. The good thing, however, is oh for God's sake, um, we do have a lot of damage. That that was Curse of Darkness that got me hit then. Oh my god. I just didn't see her come in, to be honest. Which is kind of dumb, but... So, here we go. Honestly, this is great. Great start here. We've already got ourselves down to one heart. And we got Flight and Spectral, which I think is just fantastic for us. And we skip our deal with the devil. Angel deal is still intact. And you may be thinking, hey, but Turtle, you've taken a devil deal. You've actually purchased someone with HP. Doesn't that remove your angel chance? Not with Satanic Bible, no. Not with Satanic Bible, it doesn't. Um, it's a it's an interesting little quirk of Satanic Bible. Normally, taking any sort of Devil Deal that you purchase for HP would ruin your Angel Chance, but that is not the case. And honestly, oh god, having Flight this early is so good for us. I'm not even going to take the pill. I'm so I'm so happy with how we like like how this run sits right now that I I don't want to take anything that could spoil it. A bad trip could be devastating right now, so I see no reason to. 
Um, really hoping for a key here. I was just about to say I'll open these chests no matter what for a key. Unfortunately, just a bunch of pills. We don't want that. So now we can actually take this red heart and it won't ruin Horror Babylon, so we might as well. Um, obviously, it does mean that we can't really play like Blood Banks and all that sort of jazz as much, but that's fine. Also, another thing that I should have probably done, maybe rather than going to that cash room, is I should have maybe used that excess HP and the Rainbow Heart on the last floor to play the Demon Beggar. Uh, something that didn't really cross my mind, and it definitely should have done. Uh, I think Demon Beggars and Blood Banks are a part of this game that I underrate. Uh, or, or, well, I wouldn't even say underrate. I, I, I rate them pretty highly. I, I just underutilize. I, I don't I don't get involved with them anywhere near as much as I should. Like, I watch Northern Lion a lot, and he uses the hell out of them, and it normally it pay di pays dividends for him. And I, I think that I should get in, into the habit of using them more often. Uh, I just... I, I'm a very big believer in not taking unnecessary risks. If I don't feel like I need the... Um, Zodiac's fine. If I don't need the items that it... Like, the, the money or whatever it's going to give me to win. I feel like there's not much point in playing it. But then again, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you just don't know. So we'll check in here for the Soul Heart, of course. I say it every time, but there's a chance. Um, but honestly, I think we have a... We, I almost got hit on that... Uh, a bloody stupid spike rock then. Um, I think we have a very, very good run set up here. And you've got to remember as well that we're, we're still basically owed uh, Angel Deal and more Devil Deals from Satanic Bible. Now, there is probably going to come a point where we don't have Red HP to trade away. Because you've got to remember one of the big things and big sort of problems with Satanic Bible, especially early game, is you don't get any red health because you're not getting boss items, which is basically where all of your red health comes from in this game. So um, it's going to come to a point where we no longer have that tradable HP. Um, and that's fine. Like, we can we can trade soul hearts and stuff, but we need a lot more soul hearts before trading them is a viable strategy. Um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, we're going to go into our shop here. We have plenty of money. Um... I'm actually going to bomb here and see if there's a secret room. Fortunately not. Uh, and do you know what? I, the mystery items I know, but I'm going to just... Really? That mist? Okay. I'm going to have to use a, an extra bomb than I was wanting to there. Unfortunately, it's the boomerang. I feel like you got to try those sort of things though. But yeah, I feel like this run's just in a super good spot right now. And it's, it's not a guaranteed victory by any means. Um, it's just... There's a good chance. Satanic Bible sets us up, especially if we decide to ignore a lot of our Devil Deal boss items and just keep the HP that it gives us. But it's in a very good spot. I think Lodestone does work with this, by the way. Yes, it does. Aquarius plus Lodestone is what I'm talking about. You can see the little grey patches every now and again. They trigger um, Aquarius. I was going to buy a key, so I'm very glad that I didn't, because that's uh, rewarded us. And as I said, flight early on, especially when you're lacking in the consumables department, is just so insanely good. I... I think flight's one of the things in this game that it's common enough that you kind of don't really think about it, but it's just, it changes the course of a run. You probably get, like, over the course of a run, a few, a few soul hearts and, like, a good amount of consumables worth of worth of stuff, and possibly some items as well, depending on, like, golden chests and uh, stuff like that. So, it's, it's very high value. Um, we don't really care about going to that last single room. Ooh, unfortunately, we got a very, very bad boss here. Now... I don't know how I just dodged that. This is unfortunately a boss that um, I find incredibly tough. Lodestone helps, but it's not its not a, an end-all, be-all, gonna kill him easily sort of thing. Uh, yeah, this is a boss that I, I find incredibly difficult. I think it's probably one of the hardest early game variants of a boss. It's specifically the, um, specifically the champion version of him that's problematic. Um... That's a very that's a very tall order right there. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. We did get our angel deal. We'll grab that. Unfortunately, it was dead dove, which is uh, un that, that that's that's really unfortunate because dead dove literally gives us nothing right now, like absolutely nothing. Um, we're destroying this guy, by the way, for the additional angel chance on the upcoming floors. I don't really care about it otherwise. Um, don't need the key piece at all. But, yeah, um, Dead Dove literally does nothing for us because Spirit of the Night did exactly the same thing. So we've gained no no benefit, but we at least are on the um, the devil, sorry, the angel train of items. Uh, good, good. Getting a little bit better at dodging these guys' angel beams now. Okay, good. 
And you know what? It's a risk. I, I understand, but I'm going to take it. The Pact, it was a very, very worthwhile risk. 100% glad I took that. Health is now a little bit waning, but we're likely to get between two and three, um... I'd like to get between two and three black hearts here. And honestly, this room's... Scarce room's at this health. A little risky, but I feel like it's pretty worthwhile. And we got a bunch of wisps out of it. This guy could give us lard. Um, which, honestly, I don't know if I'm willing to take. Yeah, he did give us lard. Um, hmm, because we don't have any way to... Uh, do you know what? What I'll do is, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to play the floor as normal. This room again, okay. Uh, I'm going to play the floor as normal. Um, oopsie. And we'll fight our boss and we'll see what deal with the devil we get. And if we get a one heart deal. Do you... Okay, no, no, no. We need to fight deal with the devil with Bucket of Lard so that it gives us a heart based deal. I know that deals are dynamic now, so it could just change into a heart deal after we pick it up. But I'm, my brain still doesn't really accept that as fact. And I still think that I'm going to walk in and it's still going to ask for soul hearts. I'm a, li I'm a little bit worried about that, so... I'm just going to pick it up before the fight and fight with a little little compromised damage. I think that's fine. We are going to have to backtrack a little bit to grab it. But yeah, um, as I said, health is hard to come by. And deal with the devils are going to become more and more treacherous to take as we, um, as we don't have any red hearts, as we only have uh, black hearts. So I think taking two full red hearts is incredibly important for us. Um... It's going to allow us to take a two heart deal item or a single heart deal. And then a single heart deal on the next floor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Cricket's leg is an insanely strong trinket. Uh, on kill, we have a chance to spawn a locust. And locusts are basically just more powerful flies. And honestly, the chance to get one on kill isn't even that low. Like, it seems like one in ten kills gives you one. I don't know if it's specifically amounts or if it's percent chance. But either way... They're relatively common. Good enough for me. Uh, we can definitely crack that open. Unfortunately, Eve's uh, bared foot isn't really going to cut it for us. Even though we are Eve currently. Thank you for blocking that short wisp. You have done well this day. Quickly go back and grab all of that. Charge that up again. And as you can see, we're actually doing really well on HP here anyways. Yeah, we are going to have to compromise our damage in order to uh, in order to do this devil deal. Uh, that, yeah, buy this devil deal with Satanic Bible, but I think it's more than worthwhile. So let's uh, let's take our step back. Go and do this. I realise that we've still got an item room and a shop to see, but we can come back to those. I think this is more important. And the compromise speed is another thing where, without Horror Babylon, it's very bad. But while we're in Horror Babylon, I feel that it's actually a play that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so we'll grab this. The speed down's gonna hurt, and as you can see, hurts even more. But, of course, we still keep flight. It's nothing to do with our flight, which is nice. Spectral Tears flight, we've got double of those. It'd be kind of interesting to see if there was some sort of synergy with having flight twice or spectral twice. If those things had some level of stacking. I really, really couldn't say what that would do. I really don't know. But that'd be kind of interesting, I think. Anyways, let's go, go, go fight our boss. Unfortunately, it's a pretty bad boss to fight with compromised damage. The good thing, however, is this is a boss that I generally like to fight with bombs anyways. Oh, Lodestone makes that easy. So, so, I actually think we do take that. Because for one, we need to to make sure we get Horror Battle on for the next floor. But for two, it's a book, which... Having having a book means that we um that we're one closer to what's it called uh one closer to bookworm and I actually think that bookworm is a very very strong transformation. Thank you, Lodestone. Enemies that have like a lot of, that you can knock back very easily. Lodestone's going to be very strong on. It's got a lot of pull. Getting a lot of trinkets at the moment. Kind of interesting. I don't know why that is, but hey ho. Uh, we'll try and look for our secret rooms here as well. Uh, I'm not super confident in where they are currently, uh, but we just got a bunch of extra bombs, so. Oh, hello. This is a shop that I can get behind, and there's our secret room. So, I think that 100% this is the most important take. Stopwatch is really, really strong. And you know what? We're going to be able to buy both, most likely, here. Um, let's go for a bomb on you. Bomb on you. Okay, yeah. So, I think we should just bomb a few times here, only maybe twice. Yeah, twice. Unfortunately, secret room is a little less possible now, but we did already find our first secret room. And there, there you go. Look, look at that. Um, we've now managed to get ourselves two incredibly strong items going forward. And we haven't even seen our item room yet. What am I doing? 
So it's good that we found our shop first, because now we're going to get more options activated in our item room. I can't believe I almost left the floor then. I mean, we would have got planetarium chance. That's the good thing about repentance. It's not always a bad thing if you sometimes forget your item room or you don't have the key required. Holy shit, there's a lot of trinkets. Um, I think Lookfoot's better here. Pop's interesting, but Lookfoot, having the ability to literally take every pill we see with basically complete immunity to negative effects is very, very strong. So let's go down to the next floor. And yeah, this, this run's kind of a banger right now. This run's kind of a banger. I'm liking it. The trinket's good. The damage is good. We've got a cool tier effect going. Zodiac's kind of a whiff, but it's fine. Uh, active item's fantastic. We've got the ability to get more devil deals as we go. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're just getting a hell of a lot of... It must be percent-based chance, because we're still getting tons of these flies. Pop in here real quick. We've got ourselves a black heart. Good, good. And a room reward as well. But yeah, so just remember we have look foot. I think uh, that's something I always forget is that, like when I've got items that allow me to take pills and stuff. I forget that I have them and then I get shouted at because I don't take the pills that are very, very um, plausible for me to take. So let's remember. I think the next thing we need is a flat damage upgrade. Our damage is absolutely fine right now. But we need something between now and the womb to really make, uh, make our run better. But... We can all but guarantee that at some point we're... Okay, we've got Leo at the minute. Uh, we can all but guarantee that at some point we're going to get a deal of the devil on our boss room that's going to give us some damage. Um, and uh, we, we've got more angel deals coming up, potentially, that could give us uh, the damage that we require. I know that deal of the de deal of the angels don't tend to give flat damage stat, uh, but there is a few out there, like Sacred Heart, Immaculate Heart, stuff like that, that do. Let's make our way back. Yeah, item rooms and shops still very, very valuable valuable for us here. Something I will say, this is a, a tip that I didn't really think I'd have to give, but someone sort of mentioned this to me on my Discord recently, that they really like sort of underrate shops and they don't really go to shops very often. Honestly, even if you don't have the money, if you just have some bombs and the key available to get in there, go into your shop. Go into your shop. Shops are... Shops can be run winning. Honestly, this, this run was probably set without the shop, but stopwatches basically put us in a, a situation where we can kind of guarantee oh hello um we'll just duplicate money use that um yeah it basically put us in a situation where we can um guarantee a victory or very close to because stopwatch is amazing it's a speed up which counteracted our speed down from bucket of lard which is awesome and then on top of that it's uh we're we gonna get hit here no we're okay uh, then on top of that, it's uh, slowing down all the enemies by about, I think it's like 20 or 30%. I don't actually know the specific amounts of slowdown, um, which is insanely good. Oh, hello. Soul of Isaac here is very, very good, especially, especially on a There's Options item room. And I think I am more inclined to use it on the item room than I am on the, uh, on the deal of the devil, to be honest. Because we're going to get, like, basically four items to choose from. Uh, so let's try and find that item room. It's kind of difficult to find. I'm loving having spectral tears right now. I'm going to destroy these bad boys. Probably a bad idea to do it while the room's still active, but hey, her. Come on, my lady. Come on, my drag tan girl. Pop up your face now. Pop up your face now. Pop up your face now. But yeah, consumable again. We are looking good. I love it, though. In fact, that I got Soul of Isaac, like, from just accidentally stepping into that guy. Sadly, just a normal, normal one of those. Okay, I need to stop doing this. Another soul heart here. Good. You are getting pulled around, little fella. And away we go. Good. Pop that. I know that we don't need to pop it, but it turns us into... Uh, I need to stop doing that. I just said that. Um, it turns our soul heart into a black heart, which I'm just going to use here because we've got a soul heart in the other room. It speeds things up a little bit. Right, so go in here. Um, I was going to use soul of Isaac. Heck no. Honestly, I will take card reading. Card reading's pretty good. Um, and yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, so... That was uh, pretty amazing. Fruitcake is an item that I respect very, very highly. Uh, I think it's insanely good. We don't need the moon card anymore because we'll be teleporting around to our rooms. We don't need to go to those excess rooms because we don't need black hearts. Fruitcake, as I said, 
one of my favourite items, if not my favourite item in the entire game, so I'm happy to have it. Hello, bloat. How are you this fine day? Okay, you've managed to uh, circumnavigate my bomb. I managed to avoid that one. Stop jumping as soon as I bomb you, you shitbag. He just keeps jumping. He's not brimstoned yet, though, which is odd. It's good. It's odd. Okay, we got him. The Soul of Isaac might be good here. Depends on what we get. Or we could just get brimstone. Or we could just get brimstone. Uh, and the mind. Honestly, is the mind worth taking? I think it is. I think it is. And then let's reroll the key piece. But yeah, we just got brimstone, you know. Chill. Bit of brimstone. Been a little while since we had brimstone on episode, if I remember correctly. Lodestone, Lodestone brimstone, like, visually is very strange. But as you can see, lovely little fruitcake making some bizarre things happen. I love the fact that fruitcake um, and stuff, like, works properly with brimstone now. So good. And then we'll Soul of Isaac, and yes, we'll 100% be taking the prism here. Very, very nice. Oh my god, this run is some spice. And do you know what? We're not under any time constraints. Let's go back and go to the Isaac's bedroom. Um, more chance of tear effects is pretty good, but honestly, the cricket's leg is pretty hot for me. Pretty hot. And also, we need hearts now as well, so we might as well go back and get a charge. Yeah, I we need fire rate, definitely, but brimstone here is pretty saucy. Pretty saucy. I think this managed to get bombed already somehow. It did. And it's exactly what we need. So we can pop that open. We can sleep in the bed to get to full HP. Didn't even think about that uh, use case here. This is backing brilliant. Backing brilliant. Uh, camo undies is, of course, terrible. But we will just grab it. Why not? Okay. And I'll keep my Satanic Bible charge to use on the next floor. But this is, um, this is what we call a pretty good run. This is some YouTuber look right here right here. By the way, people have been saying um, on my Discord and in the comments sections for every now and again. Now, I, I don't know how many, uh, like, I, like I said, I do pre-record these videos. So I don't know uh, how big of a viewer base we have currently. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I saw, I've seen comments recently on some of my videos that uh, is like people saying sort of like, God damn, you get some, you get some crazy YouTuber look. Uh, and I do, I do think that I do somewhat get quite a bit of YouTuber look. But at the same time, I don't do it often, but I do scrap some videos here and there that are, like, colossally bad. Like, I very rarely scrap a video if I get, like, further than the depths. But if I die really early on or get, like, really terrible items, they're just... Those videos just aren't as entertaining to watch, or at least in my opinion they're not. So I usually scrap those ones if I have the time. But it's not something that I always do. Like, I, I, I don't want to just be sort of putting on a facade that every run I get is god tier. So I do upload some of my bad runs. Um, we, uh, we've got good pills, so I don't actually think starter deck's worth grabbing. Specifically for reasons like this here. Energy speed up. Okay, that was that was very nice. And now we have a red heart to trade away as well. We don't have any bombs. Shit. I wonder if we can just do this and like destroy the wall with a brimstone from uh, one of our effects. Doesn't seem likely right now, does it? I love the color of our brimstone beam, by the way. It's like it's like mint. <laughs> it's like mint green right now. Yeah, hopefully we'll get ourselves um Hopefully we'll get ourselves a bomb. Invested. Honestly, I'm I'm fairly tempted to use this cuz we have we have hearts about and we have charges about. Let's go one two three four Five, six. Do you know what? I'm just gonna play it all. Sadly, no luck for us. 
More speed. I don't want that eternal heart right now. That was a pretty, a pretty risky play. But at the same time, I kind of feel it wasn't. Like we had the HP. Let's get our battery charge from here. And yeah, and we have the battery charges lying about too. Good, good. And then we can go back over to this room over here. I said here, really weird then. Here. This room over here. Uh, we've got a battery charge right here. And I believe there's a battery charge in the shop as well. Okay, there isn't. But there is a soul heart. Good shizzle, my dude. That was like the easiest sack room play of my life. Cash room and uh, arcade are definitely on the table right now. We have absolutely loads of money to mess around with. Good. There's even one of these here. Boom. Bow. See, like, it's just, just kind of amazing, really. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. And we get a temperance machine. I don't really think temperance is super important to us right now. Like I said, I kind of underrate blood machines. I should probably play it, but hell. Do you know what? I'm going to donate and try and get a luck upgrade. A possible in increased angel chance. There you go. We got the angel chance. I'm not going to play it much longer. Oh, I just took an eternal heart. Fuck me. <sighs> Didn't mean to take it. Fuck me. We're going to lose some speed and some damage on our next floor, which is a little bit sad. But we should be able to trade the HP away, so it's not the biggest loss. It just means we're going to have one floor of uh, being a little bit weaker than we should be. So we don't actually have the best damage with Brimstone right now. We need we need a damage up. Now, remember Brimstone did get a bit of a nerf. Not not even a bad nerf. I think people kind of overestimated how bad the nerf was. It's still incredibly strong and basically run winning. Uh, we want to take the Polaroid this time because we're going Blue Baby. And we shall go down. Do you know what? I'm a fucking moron. I should have I should have taken that Temperance card and played the Blood Bank to get out of Horror Babylon. That would have been a good idea wouldn't it? But yeah, as you can see, our damage is fucking pathetic. <laughs> like, our damage is really, really bad. Really, really bad. Without Horror Babylon, so we definitely need a, a flat damage upgrade at some point. Okay, be careful, because we're destroying rocks when we walk over them at the minute. Which is a little bit spooky. Send that guy into a poop. Nice. You see that? We didn't even kill the, uh, the nerve ending straight away. Unfortunately, no mapping this time for us, which is a real shame when you have the mind. Yeah. Where are we going at the minute? Probably down this way? Nope. Probably not down this way. Okay, good. Another black heart there. This is kind of crazy. And we got ourselves Yera. Ho, ho, ho. Yera is so fucking good for us right now. And both of those into poops. Good. Yeah, we can Yera the chests. I haven't actually had the opportunity to do that in a long time, so... Kind of fun to get the, uh, get the opportunity to do it again. Pills. Health up. We don't want health up. Infested, what the hell? And boom. Um, Soul of Eve doesn't really do much for us right now. I know that we're not very strong, so killing the boss might be a little bit lengthy, but I don't think it'll be hard. Where the hell are we going right now? Hmm, we've gotten a bit lost. We've gotten a little bit lost at the minute, I will admit. I think the mine should overwrite this curse. I think that'd be good. Might be a little strong, but like, it's a pretty fucking good angel item. It maybe should be a little bit strong. Ooh, the cool ring of tears that it let, let go of then. Okay, we're fighting all the mini bosses today. Whoa! I got an anti graph one. <laughs> Was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Good. 
God damn it, where the hell's the right way? Beautiful. Ah! Knockout drops, why? <laughs> Did you see that? Just fucking bonked the guy into me. The one, this is one really good thing about Fruitcake Brimstone. When we fire a Brim, the, the, the entire beam does eight ticks. And all eight ticks adopt the same Fruitcake effect. Okay. This isn't too bad of a boss at all for us. It's a little annoying, but yeah, not too bad at all. Just keep, keep an eye on where they're jumping. We should be fine. But yeah, I like that then. They all did Holy Light. And again... They all adopt the same effects, which is mega. Okay. So, we have to take this, even though it's bad. Because we need to get into Horror Babylon. We hope this is damage. Fortunately, it's prayer card. We don't have any way to re-roll that either, so we just leave it. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. This run's pretty fucking godly in terms of, like, tier effects and stuff. Brimstone, Lodestone... Um, fruitcake, even poison's pretty good. All this sort of good jazz. But we have the pretty big downside of the fact that we, um, oh my god, we just don't have much core damage. I mean, the packs did a good job of giving giving us some of that, but not quite enough to make it like, like I said, for the womb. This isn't all the damage for the womb. And like I said, brimstone is carrying like. I'm basically saying it's bad damage if we had normal tears. We don't. We have brimstone. So solar cane. Um, let's let's try and use solar cane here. Pop in here real quick. Honestly, this is a good good enough room to use solar cane. And also, let's pop this open. Ugh, not great. Okay, sadly nothing there. Ooh, a, heck, a little pill there. Range up obviously doesn't mean anything to us. Yeah, not the greatest solar cane ever, but I'm not that bothered because I didn't really like care about it anyways. Hello, secret room. How are you? Ooh, golden black lipstick. Do you know what? I'm going to try it. The locusts are nice, but we don't need them. More black hats would be good. And it's golden. I feel like I owe it to the game when it's a, when it's a golden trinket. Uh, so let's do this. Unfortunately, we're not getting any deal with the devil item here. We did get hit straight away there, unfortunately, as well. Prism's doing a good job right now for us. No devil deal or anything like that. Uh, let's just go on up. This sh this should be a win. I, I, I'm pretty sure we've got this in the bag. Well, I said this should be a win. This pretty much is a win. Uh, pretty sure we got this in the bag, but it still would be nice to see more damage. It would. Confessional booth. Doesn't particularly matter for us. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go through a lot of unnecessary rooms here, but... Hey, her. Cross are doing business. Crack that. Go through this room. I mean, yeah, look at that. We're killing... Fruitcake is really, is really augmenting our damage so much, even with our low damage stat. We, if we get any good fruitcake effect, everything dies. This is a terrible room right here. And we're getting more black hearts. Keep going. Look at him, so small holding that. Ow. I can't believe I missed that bomb there. God damn it. It's okay. We don't. It's not like we desperately need the bombs. Okay, a bunch of hearts. Right, so remember to Yera on the next floor. Trying to use Prism here as much as possible. Kind of hard to properly utilize, but... Oh god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Getting hit quite a bit. Bloodstone's helping out though. There you go, we got him. Okay, there's a black heart as well. Awesome. Uh, right, so we come in here. 
and we get ready because we're going to yarra and get ourselves a bunch of items. Yeah, It's been ages since I've been able to do this. Able. Great item to start. <laughs> Fortune cookie. Ech. Bumbo. Ech. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It was awful. <laughs> that was so worthless. I mean, we cleared out some trash. That's good, at least. A golden bomb. Why, thank you, game. Why, thank you. Sadly, no damage up of any kind. Looks like we are going au naturel this run. Bumba, I'll let you grow. I'll let you get big. Do you know, I've been noticing I've been getting Bumba a lot recently. What the fuck is this room? Ah! The fuck was that? <laughs> okay, I was going to say, you better be giving me some black cards now. Holy shit, that was mental. What's wrong with you, game? Why would you think that's okay? Um, apparently there's an eternal heart in this floor. Strange. Soul of Judas. Boom. Soul of Judas is kind of weird. I don't, like, it's, like, why, why have a soul that's literally one single use of dark arts? Seems a little weak. I mean, to be fair, some of the souls are really weak. I mean, the Soul of the Lost exists, which is literally completely useless in every way, shape, and form. I don't, I don't, I, like, the only use case I can think for it is, like, getting out of a cash room for free, and that's it. Like, Soul of the Forgotten's pretty useless, but at least with Soul of the Forgotten, you do get, um, hello, I'll definitely take that. Um, at least with Soul of the Forgotten, you, you get, um... The ability to play, like, curse rooms for free and sack rooms for... Uh, not curse rooms, sorry. And, uh, like, donation machines and beggars and sack rooms for free. Pretty fucking good for that regard. Oh, yes, my bumbo boy got to full. Anyways, we are going to finish off this run here with a pretty easy blue baby fight by the looks of things. Um, very, very, very fun run here. And another one onto the streak. Now, I'm sure we will see um, some pretty bad runs coming. And as I was saying earlier... While I do scrap some videos every now and again during my uh, Road to Dead God, I am not able to do that with this because we are streaking. If I die, I'm going to show you. If I have a bad run, I'm going to show you. Do not worry. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yet another good run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.